Which is going to hold more popcorn? Suppose you're in class and the teacher says that you're going to watch a movie and they brought popcorn. And there are two ways that you can hold this popcorn. With an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, you can wrap it around like this, put your hand under and fill this container with popcorn. Or you could wrap it around the other way, like this, and put your hand under and fill this container with popcorn. So which is going to hold more popcorn? Or will they hold the same amount of popcorn? Think about it and let's figure it out. Now, just in case you want to see the cylinders side by side, here's what they look like. Now, what we're interested in is the volume of each of these cylinders. Now, the volume formula of a cylinder is area of the base times the height. Area of the base being area formula of a circle, so pi r squared. So the volume formula of a cylinder is pi r squared times the height. Now, for each of these cylinders, we have the height and the circumference of the base. So how can we find the radius? Well, circumference equals 2 pi times the radius. So let's figure out the radius. And when we do, we see that the radius of the base of the taller, narrower one is around 1.353 inches, and the radius of the base of the shorter, wider one is around 1.751 inches. So now that we have the radius and the height, we can use this volume formula. And when we do, we can see that the volume of the taller, narrower cylinder is around 63.261 cubic inches, whereas the volume of the shorter, wider cylinder is around 81.78 cubic inches. So the shorter, wider cylinder will hold more popcorn. But how much more popcorn would the shorter, wider cylinder hold? Well, let's call the taller, narrower cylinder our original. If we do the difference over original, we can see that the shorter, wider cylinder will hold around 29.27% more popcorn than the taller, narrower cylinder. So which cylinder did you think would hold more popcorn? Let me know in the comments.